Hello everyone, I am Paul. Hello everyone, I am Paul and welcome to my live playthrough of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, The Game. Based off of one of my favorite comic series of all time, Scott Pilgrim by Bryce O'Malley. I am so ecstatic to finally get to play the complete edition on my computer, and I'm going to be doing this playthrough with all of you guys. I've gotten my se settings, I understand the controls, and I'm just jumping straight to the story mode to start. I am so excited to play this game. Uh, probably should start with Scott. It's I have the complete edition, which means that Wallace and Knives are playable for me. I'm probably going to start with Scott. Uh, green shirt. Okay. Uh, I've never played this game before, so I'm getting to learn it. <clears throat> and we're here in snowy Toronto. Yeah, so if you're unfamiliar, Scott Pilgrim is a ser is a graphic novel series from the early 2000s by Bryce O'Malley about a young adult named Scott Pilgrim who struggles through life but has a lot of good talents to he puts puts to his use. Puts to use, sorry. And he's Canadian. He lives in Toronto, Canada, and he spends most of his life and he spends most of his life dealing with his friends who hate him but tolerate him. Uh, his asshole gay roommate Wallace, and he ends up getting into a relationship with a young seventeen-year-old girl named Knives Chow, who is Chinese. Yes, but you know, while dealing with his life, which he personally for the most part enjoys, minus always being constantly broke, he soon starts having weird dreams. Dreams where a girl in roller skates named Ramona Flowers starts going through it. And he can't tell if they're real or fake, and he starts getting to know her better in real life and in his dreams, until he finally decides that he wants to try and start dating Ramona, especially as he grows further apart from Knives, which he doesn't realize. So the game was made a few years after the book series was finished with book six, Scott Pilgrim's Finest Hour. Man, I'm not good at this. Sorry, I'm not good at this yet. About one or two years ago, I don't remember how long ago it was, the game officially fell, celebrated its 10th anniversary, because I don't remember if it came out in 2010 or 2011. And with the and with the 10th anniversary, we got the complete edition released on modern day consoles, which is now we are, how we are now able to play it. I haven't read the book series in a very long time. I'm planning on rereading them soon. I'm so sorry, I'm doing terrible at this. I have never played this game before. Uh, I love Konami-style brawlers, which this game is directly inspired by, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Simpsons arcade game, and the X-Men, but I'm not very good at them, and I need to learn how to play this game a lot more. So with time, I will get better, but I first read the book series in sixth grade, which I don't recommend, as, this, as the series is distinctly not okay for kids. So as a, as a minor in sixth grade... Grade. Most of it went over my head, but I needed to learn a lot more about the series. Come on, Knuckle Joe. Yeah, combo. Combo and combo. There we go. Give me those coins. So yeah, I first found the series thanks to my close friend, who you can find on YouTube under Bat Thing Studios, and he works with Scatterbrain Productions, another close friend of mine, if you want to check the, either of them out. 
And he introduced me to the series, and I ended up really getting into it because Scott was a likable character. There's a lot of video game references and other things. But most of the language, well, some of the language, and a lot of the more adult jokes and references went completely over my head at that age. Age, And I need to reread the series. I wa I've wanted to do a video about how much Scott Pilgrim means to me, as it has influenced a lot in my life. Dang it! Bus. Sorry, I know I should be talking more, I just need to get a feel for the game better, and then I'll be able to be a lot more chatty, Eddie, but I was introduced to the full series bit by bit by my close friend, Bad Things Studios, and it's come a long way since then for me, but a lot of who I am today, and a lot of what inspires me, Scott Pilgrim is a key part in that, and just discovering it at such a young age, because it... As someone, as a 2000s kid myself, it reminds me of a lot of the more positive aspects of growing up as a young kid in the 2000s and looking back on it culture-wise. As there's a lot about the 2000s I personally really don't like. Like, but there's plenty of stuff, good stuff you can find. And Scott Pilgrim embodies a lot of the good stuff. Because the 2000s was that era when grunge was turning into emo. Emo. And it was still about the rebellion and uncertainty of life and dealing with older people who don't value you for who you are or and see you as a do-nothing loser. Because Scott is not lazy. Scott Pilgrim is a, is a very awkward and naive kid, but he has a lot of good skills. He plays electric guitar for, their band, for the band he's in with a few of his friends. Friends, he know he really, really knows how to fight. Right? He is a good kid. He's just a pretty naive one, and he doesn't use a lot of common sense. He's not a fast thinker, but he's still competent. Competent, and he mostly sh any time world start he doesn't just paint a smile on his face when the world is screwing up, screwing with him, and just say I can get I can get through this. Is he finds the way he finds ways to get through it even when it's ruining him ruining him. And part of that is just the fact that he finds his friends accept him for who he is, even when they don't want to. Also, hilariously, as much as it took me a long time to really put it together, because again, like, as a sixth grader, I missed a lot of the parts of the book that were way more obvious now. Uh, Wallace, Scott's roommate, was one of my first exposures to Gay representation and it's unique that Bryce O'Malley did that considering this was a 2000s book and the LGBTQA plus community was nowhere near as supported or recognized in the 2000s as it is now but ever since book one Wallace is an up and front gay gay man and he's a major he's a major jick he's a major dick who constantly gets drunk and annoys everyone but he still has good attributes he just is a very self-centered jerk most of the time Oh, hey, look, emo's in this game. Oh, not like emo's, but like my emo that, that lives here with us. See, um, a lot of emo, actually, a lot of him comes from the Scott Pilgrim books because it is the difference between a goth and an emo. I've, I've said that goths don't care what you think about your opinions. Emos think it is their job to tell you their opinions. Yes, that is the whole point. That is the major difference between the two. Goths are quiet. Emos are very, very loud. So a lot of who Emo is, is Emo himself in our household. Logan, if you will. That's his, that's his real name that none of us call him by. Logan is less of a direct Emo and more like a direct, a full-on embodiment of the 2000s culture all around. Culture all around, and a lot of that comes from the Scott Pilgrim books, or at least my memory of them. Of them, so it's cool to see him in this game. All right, twenty twenty. Disturbing.
Uh, in this game, there are a ton of little video game references that you'll find. Right? And if you can spot them all, then more props to you, because there's a lot of subtle little references that are a lot of fun to catch. Uh, there are people in that shed, I think. Nope. Oh, God. Okay, maybe this is just me. I hate fighting dogs in games. Like, they are so obnoxious to deal with. You know, they, they constantly move too fast. They will do a lot of damage. They're very scary. I don't ever want to get attacked by one in real life. God, I hate having to fight dogs in games. So I've wanted to do a video about Scott Pilgrim as a whole because the entire series means a lot to me for over a year, but I never got around to making it last year because I was busy with so much else. So I'm probably going to finally make one this year after I beat the game. And for those who are aware, there is the movie, the live action movie, I have not seen the movie yet. It's I'm going to finally probably get around to it, but I just haven't seen the movie yet. I am I was just very on the fence because Scott Pilgrim is not a world that translates to live action nearly as well as visual animation. And I really don't like the concept of a six gra of a six book graphic novel series being turned into a single two-hour movie. That just really rubs concerns me. Ah, that again. I forgot you can do this. When a guy is knocked down, you can do stuff like this and pick them up and use them to hurt your, to hurt the other enemies, which can be really damn fun. Ah, getting it up. Ah. Yes, I burned all my super moves there, which you can do by pressing the O button on keyboards. Uh, I am not a keyboard guy when it comes to playing games. I prefer to use a controller. I just don't own an Xbox controller right now, so I learned how to work with it with my keyboard. So you can just talk that to you on no reason I'm doing so terrible. All oh, right, that's the secret door. I forgot. I thought enemies came out of there. Okay, so this is the subspace highway. I don't remember if this is in the books or not, uh, but it's basically a way to try and get a lot of extra cash, which you will desperately need for later, later in the game. And like everything is breaking apart. It's all weird. Okay, good little way to get some extra money. And I have a plan. If this whoops, whoops, that was a glitch and a half. Oh no, 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 not the dog pile. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Ha! Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, give me that combo, give me that combo, baby. Ah, we passed the funny number. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. 119 hits. That's the sign that's, that's the sign of someone who knows what they're doing. Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, so we're just gonna keep going. Um, uh, shoot, I don't remember their names. Uh, those two up there are two of the characters in the books. I don't remember their names, though. I need to rewatch it. I, not rewatch. I need to reread the books yet again. Right. Wait, let me grab some money. Yep, shopping district. <laughs> no account video. Pardon me for a second.
Hi, we're back. Sorry about that. I knocked over my backdrop. Uh, welcome to No Account Video, and, uh, mmm. Uh, so, yes, this is a great place, but unfortunately, you can get some great items here, but first you have to pay off Scott's late fees, which I can't afford, because I have a 504 Canadian payments, so I am flat broke. So we're going to have to return there later. Is Superman in there, eh? Ah, man. Oh, shoot. Ah, ow. Yeah, Scott is, like, constantly broke in the series. That's not a running gag. That's just part of who he is. So he has to bum money off of other people or find ways to make it back. As, as it takes him a long time to get snagged down a job. Oh, sweet. Is that Neil? Oh, that's awesome. Hey, Neil. <laughs> okay, imagine... Okay, four actual Scott Pilgrim fans. Imagine if Neil was a playable character. That would be really funny. You can attack other people, but it doesn't do anything unless they're hurting you. Like that guy. Aw, oh, man. Dang it, I'm down to my last life. parking meter. Okay, uh, let's grab this cone. Ooh, maybe I can turn someone into a conehead zombie from Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> I'm funny. Okay, we got another guy. Uh, you'll notice tons of video game cameos there. There's another Triforce if you look on the signs behind, in front of those trash cans in the background. And there's the Ushi Bar. Because, of course, we can't afford proper lighting for our signs. Yeah, when you knock guys over, you can pick them up and use them as projectiles. It's pretty damn funny. Yep. God, I need to reread read the books. I don't remember who all these characters are. Ah! Oh yeah, get him with the elbow thrusts. Yeah, like any good brawler, there's a lot of good combos you can do with similar games like Street Fighter. And of course, K Scott does a constant uppercut Kaioken. Need the money. I swear I will get so much better at this game once I actually practice it more. Oop. Ooh, I can afford some stuff. Okay. Mmm, salmon. I'll take it. Sweet. Sweet, got a snack. Okay. Yeah, probably gonna be calling it a day for this first episode soon. Okay. Ow. Oh. Okay, let me see here. Strength inducing songs, rejuvenating songs, a band consisting of one. Clash of Demon Head. That's a great that's a great reference to the first step first book. Uh, let's go with, uh, Smashing Turnips. Nice! Got, got points went up. XP. Uh, that'll do it. What? Oh, yes. Anyway. Uh, I want to say the music is done by Animagachi. I think I might be pronouncing them wrong, but 
every song in this game is amazing. Like, every soundtrack, every song in this... Every piece of music for the soundtrack of this game is just phenomenal. Well, this soundtrack is just so damn good. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. <laughs> oh, and uh, there's Knives Mom. I'm waiting for the subway to get here. Eh. That did not hit me. Oh, come on! Yeah, so Scott doesn't have a car, so he has to constantly take the bus around town. Um, which he also rarely ever has the fare for, so he has to borrow it from other people. Oh, come on. I swear I could get better this. Okay, ooh. Uh, okay, yeah, there's a secret door under somewhere. Uh, it's like right down here somewhere. Wait, it's the one with the star on it! Out of my way! Come on, I can't die now. Oh, Bloom Scott. Kick, kick, kick. No, 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 Ah! Wow, I'm bad at this. It's gonna be a pain to edit as well. Uh, let's see here. Right here. Yep, the star door. Hey, Wallace's mystery shop. Let's see what you got. Uh, feast the Grand Central. Oh no, I spent all my money! Ah oh, man, there's some great items here. Oh, and you'll notice the blue shell on his desk right here. That's awesome. No, dang it, I can't afford anything. Dang it, Wallace. Charge me too much. Great, now we have cars. Yes, 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 that's what I need. Hey, buddy. Quit hitting yourself, quit hitting yourself, quit hitting yourself! Oh, of course they can break out of that. Here. Nice, I forgot you can run faster. Ow! Okay, I'm probably gonna die. If I die before I make it to the end of the level, then we're gonna have to call it there for today. Ah. Uh, ow! Yes, money. More money. I need money. Oh, no, 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 not a dog. Not a dog right now. Oh, come on. Oh, and I have no guts. Oh, come on, come on. No, I can't lose. Yes, come on, come on, come on. More combos, more combos. Yes, yes, both of those enemies are dead. Great, I can take these guys. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 Yes! Okay, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no! Oh, oh, sweet, I got my life back. Okay, I thought I was gonna die there. Would you die? Just die. Yes! No, my money. Oh my gosh, that was close. Oh, come on. You should have kept that shovel for your own grave, buddy. through this horrible Canadian snow. Ooh, is that the end? Oh no, no it's not. Did you die already, kid? Well, you're not a kid, but still. Okay. I have no idea how this currency works, but there we go. End of the level, I think. I hope.
Ah, oh, man, I'm back on the subspace highway. Oh, God, this is going to take a while. I need that money. Just gotta break the Mario blocks that totally aren't a copyright infringement. Yeah! Give me the gold! Give me the gold! Aw oh, man. Aw, oh, now they're sad. Oh, if only I cared. I just want money. Okay, yeah, it's a great way to get back my money so I can pay off my... So I can pay off my video debts to that adult store, what? See, a lot of people think being a YouTuber is really easy. Like, and think it's so easy to do Let's Plays, you just play the game and you talk about doing it. Not only is that difficult multitasking, which some people say isn't even physically possible to genuinely multitask, which I think is a lie, but, no, it's really hard. you got to be constantly saying interesting stuff, but you can't rattle too much or else people get annoyed. you got to find the balance of what people enjoy most about you and then sticking with it. With it, but not being afraid to be yourself. You can't try and be someone completely different than your own. You can't try and create an alter ego for yourself. Although God knows I've tried. It's really difficult, you know? Like, people talk about all the time. Like, when we get those moments where... where whether we're being funny or we're being sarcastic, or we're being really open about it, we just really got to admit sometimes how difficult it is to be a YouTuber, how difficult it is to do Let's Plays. It's hard to head it. Oh, shoot, we're at the rocket. Okay, yep. Yeah, I remember this part. <laughs> nice one, Wallace. Oh, shoot! Not great. Matthew Patel, Ramona's first evil ex-boyfriend. With his army of Red Morgans. Okay, I'm not ready for this. Guy. Dang it. Dang it, I was ready to end the episode. I can't fight him. Okay, so uh, what happens is that Ramona Flowers is becomes Scott's girlfriend, but when they're at when they're at the club where Scott's band is playing. Uh, there's a band that goes before them, and they're called Crash and the Boys. And even though they're called Crash and the Boys, one of the boys is a girl, and she's a drummer. It's a long story. Anyway, for some reason, they have a song at the end of the night that just, like, knocks out every almost everyone in the crowd for, like, 15 minutes, even though Scott's band has to play next, which makes which causes problems. Problems. But in the middle of them starting to try to play, this guy, Matthew, comes in, and he says, I am Ramona's first evil ex-boyfriend. And he summons these hot Morgan-looking girls, who are really hard to hit. Now, and he says, we must fight, because Scott is trying to date Ramona. But Ramona has a bunch of evil ex-boyfriends, and he's the first one of them. And so Scott has to try and fight this guy spontaneously, and he just randomly attacks them. But uh, first, Scott starts fighting him in the club on... Man to man combat. God, these guys are hard to hit. Girls. And then when he gets far enough in the fight, Matthew summons these demon hot chicks. Hot chick. I, they don't have an official name. Ah! They don't have an official name. Yeah, and he summons fireballs. And then Ramona goes into the backstory about how she met him, and, um, and a lot of it, and that just, he has mystical powers. Sweet! He's getting low. Okay, okay, I might be able to actually beat him. Come on, come on, come on, Matthew. You're the first evil ex-boyfriend. You can't beat me. Shoot! Yeah, and then they start summoning fireballs. Like, Okay, it's a really weird series. Bear with me. It's a very weird series. Here. Ow! Hit me with the fireball. Nice, cancel it out. Sweet, he killed one of the demon girls. You know, and I say they look like Morgan just because they have the wings similar, thing type similar to her, and I like Morgan a lot from Darkstalkers. She's a great character. That's what you get when you mess with the sky. Then he explodes. And I get his coins. Game, set, match. Take that, Lillard. 
Wow, I did not think I was going to be able to do that in the first episode. That's great. What a, what a triumph. $70. Sweet. Teleport out. Ah. Yeah, the blue-haired chick, that's Ramona. And the people to the right are Scott's friends, Kim and Wallace. Okay. Here's a game. And that is going to do it for my first video of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game complete edition. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this series. I continue it because this is a really fun game and I love this series so much. And I'm really looking forward to doing more of it if possible. So with all that being said, um, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, of course, make sure to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell if you want to. And leave some comments about what you enjoyed. With all that said, I'm Paul. And I'll see you guys next time.